Okay, so the intention behind this tutorial is to go over pointer scans. Um, so let's just get on with it and see how it goes. I'm going to try and do this without um, um, practicing it first. So um, hopefully this will go alright. Otherwise, I have to re record this, which you'll never means you'll never hear this. Hopefully, you'll be alright though. So here we are. This is going to be our pointer scan tutorial. And I hope I cover it all right. So first thing we want to do again, we'll just copy the previous methods as before. So I've attached this to the game. I'll wait for the game to start. Um, as you can see from our previous um, manual, um, our previous manual um, pointer scan, uh, pointer finding um, method, we got our two 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 here. So if you just followed into this video, this is the fourth um, tutorial that I'm making right now uh, regarding Cheat Engine. Um, and um, if you want to, please feel free to click on the description. There should be a uh, playlist there where you can see all the videos that I did uh, regarding Cheat Engine. And uh, hopefully you can find some of them useful. So let's get on with this. Um, so first thing we want to find is the sun again. So I'm going to find the sun again manually and then we're going to do a pointer scan which will hopefully lead us to a nice little pointer. So once again, I'm doing this without practicing but um, hopefully it should go alright. So let's look for it again. So. Um, do first scan, so remove the hex here if you had it. I want to go for two, 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 two. So scan it found 136 results. Get a bit of sun, so it becomes two, two, four, seven. And next scan, and we've got one result which is excellent. So as usual, just to confirm this, do a bunch of threes. So now this is going to be a bit of a tedious one and can be a lot of work if you're not you know used to them well at least compared to the other method this can be a bit of work but it is quite useful because a lot of your work is done for you so go point and scan for this address okay that's what you want to click for so I'm gonna to have to go over here bring these things over here um, so point and scan scan options what you want to do here is you want to say leave everything as it is by default and we want to leave that as well as it is uh, number of threads scanning now this depends on the operating system that you've got I'm gonna choose two um, because I, I'm already recording with Fraps and I don't want to um, overload my system. I don't even know why I use the word overload, but I don't want to, um, you know, uh, increase my CPU to 100. So I will click on OK, and the thing that you get asked for is the address where you want to save your work. So I've got an old folder here where I saved some stuff. Uh, I'll just save it in the same one. So what I recommend you just save is save it as one. Call it one because we're going to have to do quite a few to find our base address so click uh, select one and go save and then the pointer scan will start scanning now here we go we're scanning actually it hasn't started scanning I don't think so as you can see we got one address given to us straight away um, which is something very 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 rare which you won't see in your um, in a lot of your um, a lot of your games. So I'm gonna, I've got an address. I'm gonna double click it, and <laughs> amazingly enough, it gave us a base address straight away. So that is absolutely excellent, and that is the best case scenario that you'll ever have, uh, which I've never had before. Like I said to you, I haven't practiced it before on this game. But as you can see, I did one scan and it found it straight away. Now that is very rare, from my experience anyway. Most games will give you a bunch of results, which I will take you over doing now. So I will find another game quickly to show you this on. Alright, so um, as you can see there, if you were lucky enough like me, then you should have your address straight away, but you need to be prepared just in case it's not as easy as this, which in most cases it isn't. So I'm just going to find a different game and try it on. Okay then, so the game that I chose to test this in is Assault Cube. Now, um, I chose this because it's a good game in terms of, um, in terms of pointers, and uh, it's a good game also because it will allow me to show you the process of point is scanning quite a bit um, so it'll take about well I don't know exactly how many but it'll take quite a few scans to get our uh, our base address which is what I want to show you guys so let's just um, start off by creating um, of course remember you can do this in any game um, as you saw previously when we did that we got one result and that's not really enough for uh, some of you guys to understand and that's why we need to do this process of searching and searching and searching until we find what we want so um, First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look for. Oh crap! I didn't attach this to the game yet. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look for this guy's health. Um, the thing that we'll be using is um, I'm going to run away from him for a second so I can explain it. The thing that we'll be using is the enemy's health. Um, 
because we want to find the enemy's uh, base address, uh, which can be really useful for us, and you'll understand why later uh, in about two tutorials, I think. We'll get his health. Uh, of course, his health is going to be a um, dynamic address, and that's why we need to find the base of it. So I found his address, and I've got a hotkey set up to uh, search for a decreased value. So when you see this come up saying um, uh, decreased value, then that means that um, I pressed my minus hockey on my keyboard. So that's just to make things quicker for everyone. So don't worry about getting the address because uh, I've gone through that already. So I shot him a couple of times, look for decreased value. I'm going to kill him. So as you can see, first thing, uh, because I killed him, his uh, thing will go really high and then it'll come back to 100 again. So that's his address. Again, first thing we're going to go is right click, point to scan for this address because we want to scan it. Um, I'm going to go uh, number of threads scanning three, I, although I should be going two, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, I previously set up this uh, folder here so I can store all my pointer scans. Um, just write one uh, and save that as, I'm going to delete this one because it's from my previous, so just go one and then go save. Okay, and then I'll point to scan. So uh, a couple of things that I'm going to do, because this may take a couple of minutes, I'm going to block the path quickly here so I don't get put off. So I'm currently searching through the game's memory to look for, uh, what are we looking for? We're looking for the base address. And we need to keep doing this over and over again uh, in order to get our base address. But I'll explain that when we start that. Um, what we have to do is we're going to have to restart the game every time to find the memory. So if you're looking for something that's quite complex, this can be really tedious. And that is why I recommend you to do the manual method, which is... Um, better for games that don't have many levels so if you only have two three four multi-level uh, multi pointers then I recommend you try the manual method some games make that very difficult though uh, if you're looking at something like 15 16 uh, levels then I highly recommend use this method because it can be really useful if you know how to use it um, I have noticed though in some games um, it can be it just it's just not gonna happen because um, the way this works is we're going to search for our pointers, uh, we're going to search for our base address here. We look for it once and it's going to give us a lot of results, that's what it does every time. When we look for it the next time the results should go down and should go down and keep going down until we got something like 200 results where we can select one and that's our base address. So when we restart the game it will be the same address every time and that's what we're looking for. Now uh, this is uh, scanning right now and uh, I believe uh, I'll go over a quick few methods that I've read online that can help you bring the results down. So if you're constantly pointer scanning and the results aren't coming down, there are some things you can do. So first thing you can do is restart your computer. So after you've done, let's say you do four scans and on the fourth scan you get 100,000 results. You do a fifth scan, you only get, like, let's say, 900, um, uh, let's say... 99,000 but you only get like a thousand less uh, let's say you do again and you only get 98,900 so you'll get 100 uh, less from that so you only get a very small difference every time of course you can't spend hours and hours doing this because it's just too time consuming the thing that you can do is if you restart you obviously you have to restart the game on every scan unless your game resets the pointer itself automatically most of the time you'll have to restart the game so you restart the game come back it doesn't change by much what you have to do is you restart your computer and when you come back a lot of thing get, a lot of stuff gets reset so what you do is you do a point scan and hopefully those results should come down by quite a bit more um, compared to what they were previously doing uh, obviously you can't restart your computer every time but just do it every now and then if you're having trouble with it another thing that I've read that you can do is if you have multiple PCs uh, and you can run the game on both uh, you run the game um, on the first one, you save your pointer scans and so on, pass them over to your second PC, run that game again, and pointer scan again. And from what I've read, that is the best method. If you're having a lot of trouble, then that method should clean them down by quite a bit. Obvious things here, obviously you're running a different, totally different computer, everything's different registry, all that good stuff is totally different. Uh, so you should get major results. Or well, the worst case scenario is not even that will help. But this is you know we're trying to find the base address and um, there's just a couple of methods there that you can do so what I'm going to do I'm going to skip to the end of this uh, because otherwise you guys will be here for ages so there you okay go. then so our first scan is done there and we got a hell of a lot of results so as you can see we got 8.5 million results and that is way too many to to go through so what we're going to do now 
I've closed the game as you can see uh, what we're going to do now is we start the game again and this is where you choose if if you realize that your game resets pointers on level restart or something then you can just restart the level or something like that if it's one of those games like the one I'm playing right now where you have to literally restart the game for the pointer to get signed a new value then you restart the game that's all you have to do that's why this can be troublesome because especially those of you that are running heavier heavier uh, games like more memory uh, hogging then obviously that's more work for you but you have to do it that's the problem with uh, or at least one of the setbacks with uh, pointer scanning so you first thing you do is you set up the environment to everything you had before so you start a new game two players whatever um, or in your instance you might just start a normal new game and there you go that's that simple uh, attach the process again don't forget that uh, yes keep the address list doesn't really matter uh, first scan you scan for 100 because they start with 100 health I'm going to shoot them a couple of times press my decrease uh, health key oh, just shot him a couple of times there bam I'm going to shoot him a couple more times I killed him and I am guessing it's this one uh, here uh, is it that one? Yeah, back to 100. So that's our next one. Uh, I'm just going to confirm quickly because I'm not too sure it's this one actually. Yeah, there you go. Put one shot into him, he's dead straight away. So I'm going to double click there. I'm going to get rid of the game in front of us. So remember, if you've got one of those games that uh, if you double click here, it says the game's name dot exe plus the address, then don't copy that. Just uh, copy the exact number. Make sure the number is exactly the same one as the one says that says below the address. So go here, rescan memory, make sure you don't point to scan again. Go here. After the first scan, it's just rescanning memory. So rescan memory, and that's why it doesn't take half as long on the next scans. Search for the address you want to find. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say this is two and go save. And here we go. It's gonna start scanning in a second. Remember, I don't think we're any longer scanning memory. We're simply uh, going through the results we have. So as you can see, we brought it down from 8 million to 24,000. That's a big, big change. And that's great. So we've done our second point of scan. Of course, 24,000 isn't enough to work with. We start a game again, and we do the same process over and over again until we have something like 200 results. And then we can work with that. So once again, I'm going to start a new game. I'm going to find the player's address, and then I'm going to... Um, I want to search for that address as soon as I find it. So uh, I'm going to attach this again because it's no longer attached. So there are quite a few steps. If you're confused, feel free to go back. Hopefully, it'll make more sense because um, I tend to have to review tutorials a lot of times. Well, not a lot of times, a couple of times to learn them. So I look for 100. There's his health. I want to shoot him a couple of times. Where is he gone? Oh, there he is. Shoot him a couple of times. Look for decreased health, and that's probably his health, is it? Yeah, 28. Is he dead? He's far away from dying. Good night. Yeah, there you go. That's his health. So I've got his health. And then I double click here again. I get the address. And go point to scan and rescan memory. Put the new address in that we're looking for. Boom. 3 is what I'm going to call this one. And we brought it down to 3,260. So once again, we brought it down for over 20,000. That's great. These are best case scenarios. Well, not always, but these are just good scenarios most of the time. So 3,000 is still quite a lot. We restart the game. Let's see what we get. Uh, run AC client again. Um, that's all cube, should I say. Um, I'm going to set up the environment again. So, oops, single player, but deathmatch. But... Once again, I haven't attached the game yet, I don't think. So there you go. And yes. So look for 100. So the bot's first health is 100 as usual. So you guys, I'm sure you get the idea by now. I'm just doing this over and over again because I know a lot of you guys won't understand this first time. Like, if you're dumb like me, I'm sure most of you understand it. But um, first time, you know, we keep doing it over and over again because um, that's how we get what we're looking for. We press minus. Oh, I press minus. Uh, oops. I think I might have just killed him by accident. I just killed him by accident. Nice. So something's going to reset to 100 in a second. I'm just going to look for what it is. Um, I'm going to bring that down a tiny bit. Is that anything? Yeah, that, that's probably it though. I'm just going to confirm by putting him at one health and shooting him. Where is he gone? There you go. Just a quick shot. And there you go. That's him. That's what we're looking for. Beautiful. Once again, as usual, get that. You guys get the idea by now. So I'll go up here. Rescan memory. Let's see how many addresses we get given this time. So rescan that, I'm going to go for 4, that's what we've got. Sometimes this might need you 10, 12, see that didn't go down by much, so that is a, a bad case really. 
Um, what we do is we're going to restart this again and hopefully the next time we'll go down by more. If it doesn't, you do those things I was telling you about earlier. Things like restart your computer if you have to and that kind of stuff. But that will probably only be required for those really heavy games. You know, more complex ones anyway. Once again, start a new game. I have to tell you guys about that now. Um, I've attached it, I think. Have I attached it? Yeah, there you go. So I'm looking for 100. I'm going to shoot him, and then I'm going to look for less again. You know the drill by now. Don't kill me. I shot him. He's killed me, the bastard. Uh, I'm guessing he's the one 52 or 56. I'm going to confirm by shooting him, though. Uh, he's got some health, the bastard. Oops. Excuse my bad shooting here, guys. Uh, Alright, so that's probably it. Is that right? Wait for it to touch 100. There you go, beautiful. So that's it. We're going to go rescan memory. So this should be quite boring for you at this point, but I'm just going to go with it anyway. So 5, I think. Come on. Yeah, so beautiful. We brought it down to 132 addresses. And at this point, you don't have to go anymore. Um, just work with what you've got. So let's, for example, click double click on one of these and keep it. So as you can see, it assigns the pointer, it does everything for you. So we've got this here. All the addresses are here, so what we're going to do to confirm, obviously 132 addresses, under 300, you can still have wrong addresses, bear that in mind. So what I do recommend you do is take about two or three of these. They can all be right as well though, so don't don't think they're all wrong. Like there's a, There isn't just only one that's right, there could be multiple ones that work. Most of the time there's always like quite a few that work. So there's a high chance that most of these work flawlessly without a problem. So. Um, I'm going to now close the game and restart it just to confirm that that is working. And if it's not, I just choose one of the other ones, it's not a problem. And that is how you get your base address, pretty much. So let's just hopefully get this one, and it should be our right address for our first player. Keep Definitely keep the address. Bot deathmatch. Uh, I'm going to choose this map. Again, and as you can see, first thing that sets is 100. Now, this could be just a visual number, so we're going to confirm by setting it to 1 and shooting him once. And that should kill him straight away. Where is he gone? So I'm just going to put one shot into him. There you go, straight dead. Another way to confirm this, so as you can see, a reset to a stupid number is by locking it. So I've locked it at 100. I shouldn't be able to kill him now, so I'm gonna, he's going to kill me straight away, though. So I'm just shooting at him. Uh, I'm probably hitting him with like 1 out of every 10 bullets, but. As you can see, he's not dying. Um, yeah, so as you can see, he's not dying. So that is our base address. And that, guys, is how we find our base address. We were given a ton of values here. And at this point, you just choose any of these. Now, I've restarted the game. This is something you can confirm for yourself. You restart the game, and you can see if any of these values are anything other than 100. Then that means they're wrong. Uh, or anything other than the actual health that he's got. And that is pretty much it, guys. That's all you need to do for pointer scanning. I hope you understood that. I hope I didn't go on for too long talking uh, crap. Um, uh, next tutorial is for um, finding XYZ coordinates and, and so on. So I'll be going over, I'll be using COD4 for that. Uh, hopefully that will be good. Um, you can use that for any game, obviously. And uh, and that's the kind of stuff that you need for making aimbots, ESPs, teleport hacks, and anything like that. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I'll catch you guys on the next um, tutorial, hopefully. See ya.